Like I was saying in the, um, when I was saying I'll make a minor cut modifications to him. I'm gonna introduce the weapon first. So made a couple of copper bits to it. So let's get the zoom down here. Uh, as you can see copper on the uh, blade right here and all up and down and right here. I will be posting the video on my um how I set my uh, paints and everything up. But till then let's get to the figure itself. All around view. Gold, or it's gun metal, no copper all over. All right, take those in. All right, see how the stand is. Little peg right in there. So you can see a little octagon peg. See it? What you want to do is you want to line it up, and then twist it and lock it on. Made my own little stand for him, so. Uh, here we go, put it up here, and come on, come on, come on. There you go. As well, the stand is very stable instead of popsicle sticks. Now, if you want to know how to make this, um, get some Gorilla Glue, I made by Harambe's family. And then what you need to do is just get a couple popsicle sticks, and you get about, uh, how many you need? Like seven, maybe? You need one for the main shaft, and you need one for the holding main. You need to make a hole in the middle of that for the main one. And you need two for the sides. And you layer it out. Yeah. yeah, but this is for him. And this side's for Nitro Zeus whenever I get me a Nitro Zeus. But, till then. Let's get this guy in robot mode. So what I'm going to do is I'll grab my uh, Dean Nose pliers. And what you want to do is grab these pin And get it. Come on. Come on, son. Alright, place them. Grab it. Put it back in there. Alright. Get that wing off. Where the other side? Second is the same. Pull it off. That way, stick it back in. Hold it there. Then come up to the cockpit area. There we go. Stick that out and pull this off and stick it back there. That way you have everything together and it's on the side display. Now to the figure itself. What you want to do is come to the sides. Pull up these bits first. There you go. There you go. Pull the legs out. Pop the feet from the peg they're under. For sure you already know how the transformation goes. Alright. Turn the feet. Turn the feet. D peg these. Okay. Pull these forward. Grab the arms. Rotate forward. Pam peg all this. And bring this down. Straight it out. Flip. Press the wings in front, flip these like they always used to be. Lift the arms first, then. And on the inside, you can see I've got some copper detailing on in the inside of them. What we're going to do is close all that off, rotate the hands. Oh, dude, if you ever seen Cogmed, the Transformer, oh my god, the toy looks amazing. But it needs a little couple minor adjustments. And twist the head. And yes, it's got the red face. And it's got copper all up in here. He's got copper red copper in his mouth. He's got copper all right in here. Right in here. I want heavy oil on the copper because I love the copper look. I don't know why, but I just do. And yes, indeed, he can hold his axe. Or swing at somebody. His cannon. Also done in copper. Some bits. And I made to where his barrel looks kind of black on the end with some brass brushed on it. Just okay, just to like give it that look that he's a uh, blowing people away. So these are the extra bits, these are pegs I took out to make them more uh, robot-like. Last backpack, you see the last backpack and everything. And he also does go in his stand, but I, I made one for standing, but. Alright, I'll put that right there. 
Come on, son. Ugh, I can't do it on that. So what we're going to do is flatten this out. And there we go. Not set perfectly, but I'll get minor adjustments and I'll fix it later. Alright. But I will be posting a video on how I set up my... Uh, my work area, I got, I moved a lot of things around so I can make it better and more expansion. But I will show you that in another video. And I plan on getting more die cast figures. More die cast, I mean, why? I'm, besides, you know how I introduced the, um, die cast bumblebees? I have, I don't mind, I'm not taking these out of the packaging, but die cast bumblebee and everything. Well, I plan on getting, a uh, hot rod and, uh, barricade. And crosshairs. I wonder if they're gonna make a drift or not. I wanna, I wanna see them make a drift. But till then, uh, I made that, and I made this. Mm -hmm. Sorry if you hear the fans. It's hot in here. All right, pull this towards us. There we go. Transformers last night. Bam. But. That's going to be it for this video. Now, if you want to know what I did, uh, and I'll just make a spare video. I'll put him next to the paints and stuff that I wanted y'all to see. But I'm planning on doing a video in slow motion. Well, it's not slow motion. It's like a quick paint. Because I gotta, because uh, when I get my drift, I'm going to show I'm going to paint that. It's going to take about, I don't know how long, but I'll do that. Try to see if it works or not. But until then, y'all have a great day. Remember, stay wise and stay sane. And if you don't, you don't get the paint good. And uh, don't be scared if you got one figure and you don't got a second one. Don't be scared to paint yours. Every mistake is just making you better. That's what I look at it as. If you make a mistake, that just makes it better. So... Thank y'all for being here, and, and have a nice day. At 150 subscribers, I will do a special video, so yeet.